and maybe two of the top front court players in the league on the same team. Scott Foster, Brent Barnicky, and Jason Goldenberg, our NBA officiating crew. Glad to have you with us. And I like the aggressiveness. He's got a smaller guy on him, trying to take him down low. That's been a point of emphasis for Bam, too, to improve playing against smaller players uh, by backing them down. Uh, and, and does it impact the, the overall offense, which was so uh, high-paced last year? You're to them on the second try. Uh, tendency last year, very good at that, using that length. Remember, Yurtsevin had the 14 consecutive games of double-figure rebounds last year. Eight and a half minutes to go, first quarter, preseason open. Martin on a pull-up, and Caleb connects. He looks so really comfortable shooting the basketball. Caleb had 24 points last night in the scrimmage, was very efficient, and you know how athletic he is. Edwards streaking in. You can see how athletic he is. A chance at a three-point play. To get some easy baskets, manufacture points, and get yourself back in the rhythm. And he thinks Edwards can take that step forward this year. Three-point lead for the Timberwolves. Open three for Caleb Martin. Kaboom. Bam against Kyle Anderson. Knocks him a 15-footer. It's the mid-range Great. shot that he could really fatten his stats up. With. No, I agree. That's there for him a lot. He's got a nice jab step, too, to create a space where he can uh, shoot over the top, and that will be there because they're so worried about him blowing by. He's been good with that mid-range shot throughout the course of his career. Now Nas Reed giving Minnesota a 12-11 to lead, and very quickly for the score, that's Jaden McDaniels. 12 times for the Heat a season ago, figures to play an even bigger role this year, as does that man, the slashing and dashing fourth-year pro to Kentucky, Tyler Hero. Johnny got his first two points, and he is looking for a very big year. There's Edwards putting it in with a left hand. Anthony Edwards slaloming through the Heat defense for his fifth point. Uh, offensively, uh, that group with Edwards and, and D'Angelo Russell, when he's healthy, is really top notch. Good passing interior for Miami. Winds up with Bam. His first score, a chance at a three-point play. Nas Reed to the bench with three early fouls. Nathan Knight has checked in for him. As that one's put in again by McDaniels. Nice start for him. Working against Austin Rivers, draws a double team and throws it away to McLaughlin. And that's Prince able to convert off the turnover. In being able to force turnovers over 16 a game, you got to take care of the ball. You got to meet it, shorten the passing angle there. Bam, getting in double teams and trying to throw out of there, getting sloppy. Nero gets a friendly bounce. Both of these teams playing five preseason games before opening up for real on the 19th. Oh, pretty move by Hero. Had McLaughlin on his hip and had no trouble getting to the rim. Can play bigger players at 6'7 because of his strength and physicality, able to beat Deadman to the spot. McLaughlin, oh, forcing it up and in, beats the clock and the defense of Garrett. We welcome you back to FTX Arena in Miami. Second quarter underway. Eric Reed with John Crotty in the Heat's preseason opener. A score by Haywood Highsmith. Austin Rivers on the pitch. This is Bryn Forbes. Hitting the one-hander. Bryn Forbes. He's a guy who's been really capable out beyond the arc. 41%. And he's got that nice step-through move as well for the pull-up. Seventh Heat turnover. Prince from downtown and buries it. Keep the defense honest. Love him on the defensive end. Has to continue to improve on that offense. Reed over Deadman, able to score. Garrett, big guard, finds Deadman and a reach in and steal by Prince. Tenth heat turnover. Brim Forbes, that's good. Great shooter coming off screens as well. A really a reliable guy when it talk about three-point shooting. Oh, 10-point lead for Minnesota down to eight. Highsmith tried to throw a lob instead, put it in the basket. Uh, I think, uh, you know, remains to, to be seen how uh, that chemistry uh, impacts, particularly on that defensive end. Oh, it's a nice drive by Jalen Noel, his first score. Jump shot as well, the opposite way if he's overplayed. Austin Rivers missing the tray. Here comes Struess. Nice crossover for the score. This is Noel working against Lowry. Screen from Pascal. That's a nice screen assist. Uh, open mid-range splash for the 23-year-old Jalen Noel. This is Struess against Noel. This is on the run. Bam follows on the tip. 
of Bam Adebayo with nine points. Bam, Yurtsevin, Max Struess, Caleb Martin, and Tyler Hero for the Heat. In the second half, Kyle Lowry not starting the third quarter for Miami. Here's Hero. Kaboom. 13 field goal attempts a game last year. That number dropped to nine attempts a game in the playoffs. He wants to be more aggressive this season. Well, I think he'd be the first one to admit he wasn't happy with his performance. He can be that, and I think that mid-range jumper is, is there for him. Everyone respects his the speed and quickness off the dribble, so just that jab step, and it helps set him. Of course, the Heat lost three games at home to the Celtics in the conference finals. That's a three for Jaden McDaniels. Shrews missed on the run. Nas Reed outlets to Edwards. Coming right at Hero. Anthony Edwards makes it look easy. That was a great example there. He's like a little bull the way he's built. He's, he's really rugged and physical. He can make contact and still convert. Uh, get N1 opportunity. Miami down by nine. Eight and a half left in the third. There's Edwards again. That's another three for Anthony Edwards. Will go of his NBA career playing in his 20th NBA season at the age of 42. And John Eric Spolstra happy for him. trailing by a dozen. Bam in the middle. Finds Martin underneath. Jordan McLaughlin taking on Struess. And McLaughlin making a very tough shot in last year in the scoring department for the Timberwolves. And does not complete the three-point play. Nathan Knight with a rebound, lost it, but the Wolves still have it. Here's Prince, step back three, it's good. Played collegiately at both Evansville and Missouri. He's a very solid player. Yurtsev, hook from the dotted line, drops. In heat history, to have three seasons over 200 triples. Second on the franchise's three-point list, only Tim Hardaway, the Hall of Famer. Oh, what a flush by Nathan Knight. Get it back and lose it to Heisman. Robinson, able to score. And, and we brought up the topic, talent versus fit and both have to be considered when you put together your lineup and your rotation yeah i, I like what he told you and just saying you know i need down by 14. 10 minutes to play gertz have been short on the three garrett puts it in first field goal for garrett his third point that's prince this is Bryn forbes from minnesota on the turnaround Four on the shot clock for Rivers. Minot blocked by Robinson. A 102-91 lead for Minnesota. Still plenty of time left, just under eight minutes. That's Forbes. That's good. Or he could get it up to the rim. Duncan's three. No good. Rebound of Drew Smith. A nice talk with Drew before tonight's game. He's, oh, Highsmith triples for my... Under six minutes left, here comes Nathan Knight, flipping it with a left, scoring and drawing the foul on Robinson. They still put up 110 points on the board and have played very well tonight. Robinson, nice pass inside for Garrett. Great work there, really unselfish, good cutting. Minnesota going to get off to a 1-0 start in the preseason. They'll play in L.A. against the Lakers on Thursday night. There's a steal by Garrett, what a best defensively. Kane, look out. Interesting to see how Steve Nash could put that contending team back together again. Yeah, especially after, you know, you know, when they come up against adversity, that's where your chemistry, your toughness uh, has to rise above, and, and that team uh, will be tested at 